Hey guys, Kid Goo here for the Tech World, and today we're recording a video on the customization settings of not only uh, my dock, well we're going to take a look at the dock real quick, but uh, also some other programs I've been getting some emails about, and I thought I should do this just because I haven't made a video in a while. Anyways, uh, let's start off with the dock, so this is Object Dock Plus, this runs for $20 over at Stardock.com, and this allows you to make not only uh, one dock, but multiple docks. Uh, kind of like the Mac OS X dock, just a little bit uh, different features. So I'm running Windows 7 right now. It's first off, that's the operating system. And I decided to make this again just because I've gotten a lot of emails about, you know, operating system I use, the theme, etc. for, you know, multiple applications. So I thought I can cram it all in one video. Alright, so over here, this is the, uh, actually the, uh, not the, uh, what do you call it? I guess you call it the system, yeah, the system tray would be over here to my left instead of in the bottom right. Uh, you can put it wherever with object dock. So these are all docked right here. Uh, these are everything that runs in the boot up. And then over here are my main applications like Firefox, Thunderbird, Chrome. So there's all the browsers and then some folders. Uh, my main apps that I use, Audible, XChat for the IRC chat rooms. Uh, obviously Cam Studio for recording. Social, uh, this is just uh, kind of like a stack that you would get in OS X. This is for like TeamSpeak, Twirl, Skype. And then I have What Pulse, uh, GIMP2 for like Photoshop, not Photoshop editing, but picture editing. A clock. The tools, which are just kind of basic uh, things like I believe Synergy for multiple screens, Windows Live Writer for blog posts, Notepad 2 for notes, or Notepad++ I should say, Display Fusion for my wallpapers, and WinSCP for SSHing to my iPhone since it's jailbroken. Uh, this here is supposed to be, uh, I believe this is the weather feed, but it's not working right now because I have to set it. Recycling bin, and this is a time thing, but it's kind of broke, so I have to fix that too. Uh, all these icons, like Debian art, like the black ones are here and the folder ones, and uh, the rest are just default application ones, except for video and social. I'll leave all links in the video description, though, to the icon packs and the theme packs for Object Doc. Over here, I just have all my min windows minimized to the right. That way, you can see I don't actually have to use a taskbar. It doesn't take up a lot of space, and it saves screen real estate. Uh, another thing, iTunes. Uh, people are wondering how my iTunes is black, and I can't see it right here, but I have to kind of... Because I like everything to kind of match the theme. Uh, and as long as it matches also with my browser, but I'll show you that in a second. So this is actually a video I saw from Nuno, and I'll leave a link to his video also. And it's using a uh, uh, a Windows style called Silent Night, which when you just run the uh, EXE, it uh, pretty much just patches your iTunes to turn into a dark black and gray color. It looks really nice, and it matches my browser, like I said. So that's another application people are emailing me about. And lastly, they were emailing me about Firefox. I got a lot of questions about all the add-ons I currently use, even though I had a video I said maybe a couple months back on my add-ons. Some stuff has changed, not much though. So maybe I can see if I can minimize this. Or can I even, can I even grab it here? Alright. So Firefox here is uh, using the, I don't really, what is this, the, uh, let me see what theme we're using. Add-ons. The add-ons are, so for start, the one that is disabled is Adblock Plus. I run that sometimes depending on whether uh, you know, some ads I actually want to show, but sometimes when I don't want them in my way, I'll just use Adblock Plus. Delicious bookmarks, for it so I can sync all my sites that I bookmark to Delicious service, so I can use them for podcasts and share them. FasterFox Lite allows you to uh, actually just pretty much tweaks your browser to run faster. Fire Download uses a, uh, what do you call it, a peer-to-peer -peer type uh, downloading service, I believe, uh, that speeds up your downloading, so it uses multiple sources, which does uh, pretty good, on uh, depending on what site you're on. Uh, it increases your download speed. Google Redesign, this one was recommended to me by Mobile Phone 2003. It redesigns all of the Google services. Uh, I believe like YouTube, Gmail, G Reader, GCal, all of those are really, really uh, nice looking with a compact look and it's all black and gray so it's easy on the eyes. Java Console, I think that just came with the Java thing. The network, that also came with it. Uh, read It Later, I use this to save pages that so I can read it later on my iPhone or any other device. Uh, smart bookmarks bar, this kind of just puts all these little icons instead of, you know, folders or you know, text. It just puts the icon, or the favicon. Stylish helps me design pages, or, or not design, but style pages like my YouTube here. It's all black. Uh, you need to get a, uh, user scripts and you can just put them into, uh, stylish and it'll style whatever page. And I'll leave a link to my, uh, user script for the black YouTube. Tab Mix Plus, this does, uh, some tab boosting. Uh, features it adds so you can like save tabs when you exit a browser and come back and it'll still be there even if your computer crashes. Really, really nice add-on. I recommend Tabmix Plus to any Firefox user. Tiny Menu is the last one and that just saves space with the menu button. It can compact, file, edit, all that into one little button to use. Uh, now the theme I'm using, I forgot to get the name while it's in the add-ons menu, 
is actually black stratini and this one is for uh, version 2.0 2.0.8 uh, and this is a really nice theme that you can use with small icons and if you right click on the top bar in an empty space if I can get it here you should see the customize bar right here now what this allows you to do is it allows you to pull buttons that you don't use in and out it also allows you to use this little button right here which says add or use small icons which will save you screen space now another thing people are wondering the bookmarks how did I get them all or you know how did I get everything up here into one bar all you gotta do is you gotta enable what you, uh, for example, the navigation bar. I just removed everything up there in the customization menu, then disabled it. Uh, and I can also have a delicious toolbar if I wanted right there, but I don't use it as much, so I also disabled that because I just moved all the buttons up. So I can right click, disable the delicious toolbar, and then I just put all my bookmarks on that little bar right there so it's easy to access rather than all these icons being on the top. If I want to, I can just simply disable the bookmarks bar, and I have even more screen real estate. So again, uh, this is my YouTube. This is uh, using Stylish, and I'm going to kind of pull up here so you can see the little thing in the bottom. Uh, Google Redesign, that basically if I was to go to Google.com, or even Google Calendar, or Google Reader, right, hang on, let me go to Google in English. It turns it black like this, and it matches uh, with the theme nicely, and it also matches with the operating system. As you can see, there's a little bug right there because of the, uh, new, pa or the new Google homepage, but nonetheless, it works fine. Uh, those are my Firefox add-ons as well because I got a couple emails about those. So I thought I should just come back, uh, you know, answering a couple questions that a lot of viewers had uh, YouTube inbox. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's pretty quick, but um, I will have some more coming out this weekend. So look forward to those. Don't forget to su uh, subscribe to the channel and also check out the uh, former videos. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.